project like uh, firing a satellite into orbit is uh, only possible if there's splendid teamwork all the way through. Warner Von Braun has one of the most recognizable names in the field of U.S. space research and rocketry, but how much do you actually know about this famous figure? First, he's commonly referred to as Von Braun, but it's actually pronounced Von Braun. Next, Von Braun isn't American, he's German an engineer and rocket expert for the German Army during World War II, who, along with his V-2 rocket team, surrendered himself to the U.S. after the war, admitting his role in the facilitation of German military attacks. He eventually became technical director of the U.S. Army Ordnance Guided Missile Project here in Huntsville, leading a group of German scientists who made up Operation Paperclip. Von Braun was instrumental in the first successful launch of a satellite in the United States. We met up with archivist Drew Aiden, who gave us a deeper look at this controversial historic figure. He was the, uh, the director of Marshall Space Flight Center, the, the first director. Uh, and I think what made Von Braun so unique uh, and you know, remembered to this day is he really emphasized and understood the importance of the popularization of space travel. Von Braun brought a new perspective to space travel, proposing ideas to get the American people emotionally invested in the space program. He did that through his uh, partnership with, uh, with, with Disney. He appeared on, on television speaking about space travel in, in layman's terms and kind of presenting it in a way that might be exciting to the population, thinking forward as to the possibilities of what manned spaceflight might, might entail. Even going as far as getting two of the time's most notable sports figures, Bear Bryant and rival coach Shook Jordan, to pitch in. He knew that if you want to get through to Albanians, you need to talk college football. <laughs> um, and, uh, and he had um, both of those coaches appear on a uh, commercial um, trying to get race funding for Space and Rocket Center. Aiden gives us a behind-the-scenes look at artifacts housed here at UAH, whose expansion into research, science, and engineering can be accredited to Von Braun himself. In uh, 1961, Von Braun approached the Alabama legislature to ask for money for the founding of UAH, specifically the, the Research Institute. He recognized that there was a need, uh, we have a, a quote here from uh, in the exhibit, uh, that he needed strong, capable, educated people to meet the staffing needs of the emerging aerospace industry in Huntsville at Redstone Arsenal and Marshall Space Flight Center. So that tradition has continued at UAH. We still offer undergraduate and graduate classes in rocketry and, and aerospace sciences to, to meet the, the needs um, of, of Huntsville's aerospace industry. Although landing a man on the moon was a national achievement, it was an international effort, hands from all over, working together and constructing a future that's out of this world. Putting the Valley first, Cindy Stallworth, WZDX News.